Uh, Silver Crest Auction Traction Engine. Um, firstly, I'll take you around the controls, um, starting on the foot plates. Um, there's the water gauge. Um, the crossbar on the guard is, is roughly the the, um, the working level, so you wouldn't want the, the water to be any higher than that, or the engine will prime. So that is intended to be the working level. Uh, there's the blowdown for the water gauge. Then there's two valves on here. One is the steam. This is the steam valve for the water lifter. Water lifter's fitted there, and it's a steam-driven vacuum device that will lift water up from a pond. If you were to put that in in a bucket of water, it will actually lift water and fill the tank. So that's the control valve for that. That is the steam valve for the injector, live steam injector, which is situated down here. And the water valve for the injector on, on production engines will be here. But on this engine, on this prototype, it's down here. But there will be a lever up here for the water valve. Then the crankshaft driven feed pump, reciprocating feed pump here. That's the bypass valve for that. So when that's closed, the delivery from the bike from the pump is going straight into the boiler. When it's open, it's it's bypassing it back to the tank, so it's effectively leaves the water level the same in the boiler. Uh, boiler pressure gauge there. This is the regulator. Forward is open, back is closed. And there's two two speeds. And to change the gear, at the moment it's in neutral, the crankshaft sprocket away from the from the driving sprockets. To change the gear, you take the peg out, shift the lever while you move it slightly, and that will engage the gear. So that, that is high gear, because you've got the large sprocket driving a sprocket almost the same size. And then low gear, which is what you'll probably be in most of the time, there's a small sprocket driving a bigger one to reduce the, the overall speed but increase the power. Then moving forward, This plug is boiler fill plug, 14mm um, AF uh, hexagon head. Take that out and fill the boiler with a hose pipe or something before steaming. That's the blower, steam jet up the chimney to draw the fire. Um, the governor, which you can drive with a belt from the crankshaft, is just, is just purely dummy, but it, it's there for the show. Mechanical lubricator. Fill it with heavyweight steam oil, that's driven off the crankshaft. And it's got a small um, reciprocating pump inside, pumps oil into the cylinder. And coming around further, two safety valves. The, these safety valves, this central spring, which is on the real engine is, is actually the load on the valves. This is just dummy on these. There's two separate valves which can be adjusted separately by screwing the top up and down. So they're, they're actually locomotive type valves in a traction engine type body. Uh, cylinder drain cocks. Push and pull the lever in the cab. Open and close those. And reverse, reverse lever which is here. Forward for forward gear. And back for reverse. And then that's the brake, that's a band brake on the winding drum. Looks like the engine rolling away. Uh, and then coming round further, water filler for the tender tank is there. And I think that covers everything. To steam the engine, I've, I've half filled the firebox with lump wood, lump wood charcoal, just crushed up lump wood charcoal soaked in paraffin. So I've half filled the firebox. We've got a blower on the chimney, an electric blower, and the damper, which is here, there's an ash pan damper, you pull that up, which will be fully open. It's better to light the charcoal before you actually put it in the firebox rather than try to light it in there. Lower on. Now, as I said before, the water level is equal is, is just level with that crossbar. 
it, it, any any higher than the engine will prime. When the charcoal's been burning a few minutes, just add coal a little bit at a time. Um, this is Welsh steam coal, bean size. Um, we buy it from Signal Tools. So just sprinkling of coal over the top. And keep an eye on the pressure gauge. Um, when you first steam the model, it's possible that the safety valves won't be set accurately. So keep an eye on the pressure. You might have to adjust the valves. The uh, fire's been alight for about five minutes now. Um, you can see this nice coal fire in there. Uh, the pressure's risen to 35 pounds. So we can take the electric blower off and turn the steam blower on. It's quite wet because our boiler's overfilled. The pressure will rise quite quickly now, so keep an eye on the pressure gauge. Make sure the safety valves lift at 80 or 90 pounds. Okay. Water lifters in, in a suitable container of water. Um, the bunker tank is actually full, but if I turn the water lifter on, you'll see the water it's lifting will just overflow out the bunker tank. That's, that's taking the water out of there. So that's how you would fill the tank in the normal course of events. Uh, forward here. Single cylinder engine cannot be self starting, so you always need to start it if it's on a dead centre by moving the flywheel. And it will self reverse if it's in idle. Select the gear. Put the pin back in to lock it.
to modulate the boiler level, um, just adjust the, the bypass on the crosshead pump. So at the moment it's open, as you close it, it'll get progressively noisier as you hear the ball valves working. Now it's pumping all the water into the boiler. Again, just to maintain the level, just under, or just around about that mid, mid mark. Uh, to work the injector, turn the water on first, and then turn the steam valve on slowly. To remove the great Nash pan, there's two horizontal pins that you pull out, one each side. Then the grate will drop down. If you want to take it off completely, you need to take this screw out of the damper rod. But it's not necessary because you, you can tip the ash out and put it back as it is. And then to put it back, you locate it on the pins and push the rods back in. Uh, after the fire's been drawn, when the pressure's decayed to about 20 pounds, uh, just open the boiler blow down. Go into the boiler. 